गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटींथ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नॉट बिफोर वी मूव अहेड लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू दैट दीज क्वेश्चन आर पार्ट ऑफ आवर डेली ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यूज सीरीज विच इज रनिंग इन द एप्लीकेशन सिंस टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द टेक्सट वर्जन ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब इट to get a test of daily 20 mcqs along with their answers and explanation and the application basically provides monthly revision document and also category wise compilation and once you subscribe it all content since 2021 becomes available in a well organized format so now without taking much of your time let's get started first question is what is the name of the short range ballistic missile which was recently test launched by the country india so defense research and the development organization means drdo successfully carried out a training launch of a short range ballistic missile named as prithvi 2 from the integrated test range chandipur off the coast of odisha okay and defense ministry said that the missile struck its target with high accuracy so the user training launch successfully validated all operational and the technical parameters of this prithvi 2 missile which has a range of around 350 km okay so you have to remember two things recently we have tested this prithvi second missile and this is a kind of ballistic missile okay you can be asked which type of missile is prithvi 2 so answer would be ballistic missile fine next question is which song from an indian film won the golden globe award 2023 for the best original song so indian film rrr's song named as natu natu has won the prestigious golden globe award for best original song this triple r movie is directed by S S Rajamouli and this song Natu Natu has been composed by M M Kira Vani okay so Natu Natu left behind Taylor Swift's Carolina song Lady Gaga's Hold My Hand song etc okay so you have to remember that Natu Natu is the Indian song that has won the Golden Globe Award 2023 for being the best original song and this song is from the movie Triple R okay this song has been composed by MM Kiravani Next question is as per the World Bank's Global Economic Prospect Report what is the expected economic growth of India in 2023 up to 2024 So in its report titled as Global Economic Prospect The World Bank said that India will be fastest growing economy among seven largest emerging markets and the developing economies. And as per the report, India's economic growth will slow to 6.6% in the next fiscal year from an expected 6.9% growth in the current year. Okay? So here correct answer would be 6.6%. Next question is Year of Enterprises project is a flagship scheme of which Indian state So the Year of Enterprises project is from the state of Kerala and recently it has been regarded as the best practice model in the second chief secretaries national conference fine So it was selected in the thrust on MSME category fine so this project by the kerala government was started in the current fiscal year and the aim was to create 1 lakh enterprises in one year and the state has achieved this goal in just 8 months that's why this project is important okay so why this project was in news because it has been regarded as the best practice model in the second chief secretaries national conference under the theme thrust on msme fine so this project belongs to kerala state 
Next is Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Global Investor Summit in which city? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi has virtually inaugurated the seventh edition of Invest Madhya Pradesh Global Investors Summit in Indore in the state of Madhya Pradesh. And uh, the theme of the flagship event of the state government is Madhya Pradesh, the future ready state. Okay. And also Guyana President Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali and Suriname President Chandrika Prasad Santokhi also addressed the meet. Fine. So Global Investors Summit was recently inaugurated in Indore city. Also Indore is important because this was the venue for this year's Pravasi Bharatiya Divas celebrations as well. Okay. Also this day is known as NRI day and it is observed every year on 9th of January. Can you tell me who was the chief guest at this event? Do let me know in the comments. Next is which Indian state became the first fully digital banking state in the country? So Chief Minister of Kerala, Mr. Pinrai Vijayan recently declared Kerala state as the first state in the country to go fully digital in its banking services. And not only this, Kerala has also received three Digital India Awards for advancement in the digital sector, including the silver medal for their Shira Shri portal. Then also it won the platinum award for digital workforce management system and the gold medal for district administration of Kottayam. Okay. So recently Kerala state has become the first fully digital banking state in the country. Now apart from it, can you tell me, as per the UNICEF, child mortality refers to the probability a newborn would die before reaching how many years of age. So the child mortality or you can say under 5 mortality rate refers to the probability a newborn would die before reaching exactly 5 years of age and it is expressed per 1000 live births okay so as per the report that has been recently released by united nations inter agency group for child mortality estimation an estimated 5 million children died before their fifth birthday and another 2.1 million children and the youth who are aged between 5 to 24 years lost their lives in 2021 okay so this was a small report by this particular body of united nations fine next is which indian city topped the startup funding in 2022 as per the recent report so according to the data that is provided by track xn which is a leading global market intelligence platform bangalore has topped the startup funding chart in india with 10.8 billion dollars in 2022 and then it is followed by mumbai at second position with total worth of 3.9 billion dollars at third it was gurugram with a worth 2.6 billion dollars okay and startups based in delhi and chennai registered 1.2 billion dollars each in funding and then they are followed by Pune. Only top three are important basically. So you have to remember that Bangalore city has stopped the startup funding in 2022. Then Bangalore is followed with Mumbai and then Kurugram. Okay. Now you have to remember that recently Uttarakhand governor Mr. Gurmeet Singh consented to a bill providing 30% horizontal reservation for domiciled women of the state in the government jobs okay and Uttarakhand public services horizontal reservation for women bill 2022 was passed by the state assembly okay so this is the state Uttarakhand that has passed the bill which provides 30 percent horizontal reservation to the domiciled women of the state Uttarakhand okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रैम्प स्कीम विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री सो आवर एम एस एम ई मिनिस्टर नारायण राणे रिसेंटली लॉन्च द वेब पोर्टल फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव करोर रुपीज रैम्प फॉर द एम एस एम ईज ओके एंड वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ रैम्प स्कीम राइजिंग एंड एक्सिलरेटिंग एम एस एम ई परफॉर्मेंस सो दिस स्कीम वॉज ओरिजिनली अनाउंसड बैक इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बाय to support the covid hit msmes in the country and out of the total schemes limit 3750 crore rupees was approved by the world bank in june 2021 while the balance would be funded by the government okay so this scheme works under ministry of ms me and what is the full form of ramp raising and accelerating msme performance Next is, as per a recent data, which two states were the top investment destinations in the country in 2021 to 2022? So, as per the data by the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, Gujarat and Rajasthan are the top Indian states in the areas of investment, and both the states were successful in attracting the investment from both domestic and international. businesses okay so fresh investment worth 3.98 trillion rupees were announced for gujarat state during 2021 to 22 while rajasthan has attracted new investment worth 2.37 trillion rupees during this time period okay so gujarat and rajasthan were the top investment destinations in the country for this time period Next is Nidhi Aapke Nikat is the outreach program conducted by which institution So Employees Provident Fund organization that is EPFO conduct this Nidhi Aapke Nikat outreach program on 10th of every month in all the field offices and aim is to expand its reach and attract more participation okay So there was this grievance redressal mechanism of EPFO named as bhavishya nidhi adalat and it has been now renamed as nidhi aapke nikat fine so this is the outreach program of epfo next is which country is the host of the world hindi day conference 2023 so world hindi day is observed on 10th of january every year and the day aims to create awareness and to promote the hindi language across the world and this year the theme was hindi traditional knowledge to artificial intelligence okay and this world hindi day conference was hosted by the country fiji fine three things are important when do we observe the world hindi day answer would be 10th of january which country was the host of this year's conference this is fiji and what was the theme for this year hindi traditional knowledge to artificial intelligence next is which union ministry launched the statement on climate of india during 2022 report so india meteorological department which works under the ministry of earth sciences has recently released this statement on climate of india during 2022 report and as per the report the annual mean land surface air temperature averaged over india during 2022 was 0.51 degree celsius and this is above the long term average that was between 1981 to 2010 period so the year 2022 was the fifth warmest year on record since nationwide records commenced in 1901 fine so this report was released by ministry of earth sciences now talking about ministry of environment forest and the climate change recently they have issued the draft regulation of common effluent treatment plant rules 2022 and it proposes that in order to manage the treatment plants professionally there shall be a special purpose vehicle or 
society or trust fine so you can be asked that which union ministry has issued the draft regulation of common affluent treatment plant rules 2022 so answer would be ministry of environment forest and the climate change okay so these are the most important current affairs from today and now we'll come to our revision in which we are doing the current affairs for december month 2022 so this is the part 7 in this series in which we'll be doing from question number 91 up to question number 105 first is what is americium which was seen in the news recently related to energy actually scientists who are working in the european space agency are developing the batteries that are made of a nuclear waste named as americium to power the space mission okay and that's why it was in news so americium is basically a kind of nuclear waste as per the union msme ministry how many jobs were created by startups in india so far so according to our msme minister narayan rane more than 8.4 lakh jobs were created by startups in the country and these jobs have been generated by 84000 government recognized startups kilian mbappe and olivier giroud who were seen in the news recently plays which sport they are associated with football and why they were in news because the france football team entered into the semi finals of the world cup by beating the country england also you have to remember that kilian mbappe has got the golden boot award for being the best player at the fifa world cup 2022 also lionel messi got the golden ball award and emiliano martinez got the golden glove award and talking about the fifa world cup argentina has won this cup by defeating the country france next is which country is the top oil supplier of india in the month of november so russia has remained india's top oil supplier in november for the second month in a row and with this russia has surpassed the traditional sellers of oil like iraq and saudi arabia which institution developed an ocean wave energy converter that can generate the electricity from the sea waves so iit madras researchers have developed this ocean wave energy converter that can generate the electricity from the sea waves and the device was deployed at a location nearly 6 kilometers off the coast of tamil nadu fine and uh, the target of the device is to generate 1 megawatt of power from the ocean waves in the next 3 years okay next question is when is the unicef day observed every year we observe this day every year on 11th of december full form of unicef is united nations international children's emergency fund hakuto air lander is the first ever moon mission of which country so this is the first ever moon mission of the country japan and they have launched it with the help of space x so the launch of hakuto air lander was originally scheduled for late november 2022 question number 98 artemis is the lunar mission launched by which country so this is the mission of the country usa and after completing the artemis 1 mission nasa's orion capsule is splashed down safely in the pacific ocean that's why it was in news and orion's next trip will be a loop around the moon with astronauts on board named as artemis 2 and it is scheduled in around 2024 victor excelson who claimed his eighth title in 2022 at the world tour finals is from which country so he is from the country denmark and he is just 28 years old so recently he has claimed his eighth title in 2022 at the world tour finals when is the international day of neutrality observed we observe this day on 12th of december every year and aim is to advocate and campaign for intra state peaceful relations okay next is what is the short code of the 24 by 7 multilingual tourist info helpline set up by the ministry of tourism so ministry of tourism has set up a 24 by 7 multilingual tourist info helpline on the toll free number 
short coded as 1363 and this helpline has been set up in 12 languages including 10 international languages and Hindi and English for domestic and the foreign tourist. Why? So as to provide information relating to travel in India and for the guidance to tourists in distress while traveling in India. Build the world we want, a healthy future for all is the theme of which international day that is observed on 12th of December. So this was the theme for International Universal Health Coverage Day and we observe this day on 12th of December. Dare to Dream contest is an initiative related to which field? So DRDO has been conducting this contest every year since 2019. So your correct answer would be defense field. India's sixth Vande Bharat train was inaugurated between Nagpur and which city? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi flagged off India's sixth Vande Bharat Express between Bilaspur that lies in Chhattisgarh to Nagpur from Maharashtra route. Fine. And it will be operated by South Eastern Central Railway. Who has been selected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association? This is legendary athlete P.T. Usha. So with this, she became the first Olympian and the first international medalist to lead the IOA in its 95 year history. Okay. So these are the next 15 questions from the month of December and tomorrow we will cover the questions from 106 up to 120. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see 5 questions which have been taken from the past 2-3 days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzahat Sana signing off.